Fight fans, our third fight of the night scheduled three five-minute rounds in our unified featherweight division. Introducing first to my left, the man fighting out of the blue corner. Standing five foot ten inches tall, his official weight, 136 pounds even. His professional record, two wins, three losses, no draws. Fighting out of Dunamis Muay Thai in Calgary, Alberta. Please welcome Isidine Atme. His opponent across the cage, this man fighting out of the red corner. Standing five foot seven inches tall, his official weight, 135 pounds even. His record, two wins, three losses, no draws. Representing Martial Arts Fitness Academy in Mississauga, Ontario. Please welcome Nate Small. When the cage door closes, your referee in charge is Brian Beauchamp. Referee Brian Beauchamp, the third man inside of the cage. Odd man, the blue tape. Opponent Smalls in the red. Three five minute rounds. That was getting intense while they were getting yeah. announced. Edmo was at the, at the center cage, pacing back and forth, trying to look past the cameramen and stuff. He's ready to go. I was going to say the referee might have uh, gotten some early work before the fight with those two guys staring each other down. A little close for comfort, in my opinion. And you saw in the corner of Otme, Jay Peacock, who was successful in his bit of the road to one. Great tie boxing abilities. But imagine Otme would have those, that pedigree. Circling, attacking low as Smalls moves forward. Nice push kick to the midsection by Small. A bit of a feeling out process okay. so far. I like it. Nice clean striking by both fighters early. Nice um, high guard. Mike, do you think it's a feeling out process actually? I mean, this, this again is a rematch. Or, what, what would you take away from that? Well, I believe that was a fairly short fight last time. It was, uh, I believe it was a round one submission for, for Adme, right? So. You don't. You might not know that much about your opponent after after a short fight, and you've got to assume that guys have grown and have changed. So, oh, oh beautiful right hand! Nice spinning attack by Small. I love. I love the way that not only did he circle off, but he circled back to the center of the cage. That's really good ring awareness. He's not leaving his back on the cage. It's a nice body work from Upman as well. Yeah, both fighters clearly well coached. Yeah. Good feints, good movement on the outside, right? He's not standing directly in front of his opponent. Also, the amount of growth between your first fight and then a subsequent fight. I mean, you can be a completely different fighter. Yeah, 100%. Otme landing that left hand, followed by the right. Flashing the uppercut. Trying to draw out a reaction. Nice stiff jab by Small. It's quick. Half chops here. Not the hardest, but those are gonna those are little investments for later in the fight. Beautiful split right hand from Atma. Oh, and a thunderous knee to the midsection of small. No worse for wear. Ame backing up momentarily as small continues to move forward. Then he attacks. Both men very aggressive here. In round one. Yeah, that's a great start. High level striking from both guys. Good feint, level change there to draw out. Trying to go for that overhand, but uh, Adme was not staying still for that one. Aaron Bronstetter, Mike Malott, John Rabdeen, your broadcast team here at Unified MMA 51 for the Niagara Falls Convention Center. And Mike, when you started your professional mixed martial arts career, when you're seeing guys that really don't have that much experience look this good, did the fighters look that good when you started? Dude, I was just thinking that, like, neither of these guys have a winning record, but they're, they both look like seasoned yeah. fighters, right? Like, this isn't a low-level fight at all. These are two solid fighters that must have just been fighting solid guys their whole career, right? I know Atme has fought um, uh, Vinny Diaz, who's undefeated out of Ontario, definitely one of the best prospects out of this area. Um, and and we just talked about how, how Nate fought, uh, fought Cody recently. So 
you know, he's, they're fighting tough guys. These guys aren't getting cakewalk fights, right? Beautiful skills by Atme. Circling after his attack. See some visible frustration from Small. Trying to get another reaction. Followed by oh, the jab, nice. followed by the right hand. Something of a tough round to score as well, because there hasn't been a really big singular moment. Just a lot of really good, fundamentally sound fighting on both sides. Oh, that was a nice low kick right there. Followed by a nice return high kick. Atme loading up a little bit on that right hand. Good head position here. Could this be the difference maker if Small manages to get a takedown with 30 seconds remaining in the opening frame? Atme not having it. Trying to do some damage with the elbow. Using that, Atme's using that wizard fairly well, keeping some weight. Oh, that was a nice attempt from Smalley. I think he kind of let go of it a little bit early. A little chain wrestling there could have gotten that, that finish for him, but uh, it's a nice attempt. And you see some blood around the left side of the face of Small. I can't tell if it's a cut. Yeah, I think it might be a it might be a cut from an elbow. Yeah, it looks like on that cheekbone there. Eh? I, I, you got to score that round for Atme in, in my mind. I, I think uh, he was landing the more significant strikes while he was the one backing up a little more consistently. I, I feel like he used it well. His footwork was on point. He was landing some some big shots, but Small landed some good stuff too. He landed some nice low kicks, especially some really heavy chops to the leg. He attempted to uh, draw the fight to the ground and, and both the offense and the defense in those exchanges looked pretty good. And visible damage can swing around. Not always, but if you're a judge and you're looking at a, a, a relatively even round, you see a lot more damage on one side. Visible damage, that is. Oftentimes, that can sway a judge. Very and you good. look at that cut, I mean... Yeah. Very yeah. good point. I mean, again, these judges, they're not necessarily martial arts experts. So they're seeing fighting, and then when they see the two fighters break, they see this massive cut on small. It's like, okay, well, that's the most damaging blow. Let's give it to the other guy. Yeah. I mean, it is a likely the most damaging goal yep. of the fight if you look at yeah. visible damage. Round two underway. Small stalking, that cut doesn't seem to affect him at all. Putting, putting it out of his mind as Admay circling. Admay yeah, does a good job of circling away from the power. And Nate did a nice, a nice read there of throwing the left body kick. Like, okay, if you're going to circle to my left, I'm going to throw a left kick then. If you're going to circle into it. Is Small being patient enough? It seems like he's really trying to push the agenda, and he's getting hit with things that maybe a better defense would otherwise not allow him to get hit with. Yeah, um, I think maybe tightening the defense up. Yeah, he's, eat he's needing to pressure, right? I think if he's staying on the outside here, he's getting picked apart a little bit. Um, so, so pressure's not necessarily a bad thing. I think he does need to pressure and maybe cut the cage off a little bit better than he's doing right now. He's, he's following. Um, earlier when he, he, he circled with Admin through that left kick, I, I liked that for cutting the cage off, right? Now he's switching. I liked that switch up to Southpaw for a second to... Uh, oh, there's a oh, nice low, low kick. kick. Low kicks are, are scoring well for him. And that's how you discourage the circle. Yeah. Chop the legs, chop the body, let him and walk into something. he keeps going back at it, so... Has he changed his strategy? Will he continue to do that? Hot may change it. Maybe he was listening to our commentary where he's saying he should take a little bit more of a patient approach. Yeah. Mike, is that something that happens in, in every gym, learning how to switch sides? Not necessarily. I feel like it's a style thing. I, 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 I would never discourage someone from adding more weapons to their game, but there is something to be said for being a master at what you do, not being a, a jack of all trades. Uh, I like to switch stances in my in my fights. I like to have, I just like to options. have options. Exactly, yeah. I like to have options, right? A lot that goes into MMA, and, and the more tools I feel like I can bring to the cage, the more confidence I have. Small continuing to advance. Not painful round kick under the, the armpit. Both fighters tying up. Small did. Oh, nice. Not May not having it. Not staying in that position. This could be a momentum shift, right? He's 
small is definitely getting controlled in the feet. He's, he's taking the worst damage on the feet, but switching the game plan up, looking to get on top, looking to gas your opponent out for make or making him build back to his feet continuously can be a, a great a great idea. He's already put the hook in. One he's hook in. One hook in here. Working to get that second one in. Yeah. And we're midway through the round, so a momentum shift would definitely be something that Small would embrace here. Yeah, 100%. And he's doing a good job of scraping his opponent off the wall. He looks fairly calm. He's, he's not really in any choke danger here, so he's going to want to continue to scrape and face uh, Small. Which he's, he's circling, he's trying to do. He wants to get that right elbow in between him and Small, which he almost has. He would probably, uh, yeah. Nice. Excellent decision making by Atme. We just saw him looking at his corner, nodding, and beautiful oh, nice. combination by Atme. And that right hand just missing the mark. I'd like to see him go to the body. Nate's doing a good job of covering up to his head. A plethora of strikes coming at small by Atme. Nice side kick. Good teep out of small. And I'm sure the fans are enjoying this, a mixed martial arts kickboxing match. This is awesome, yeah, man. These guys are really going at it. Are you saying the fans don't respect the grappling enough, John? <laughs> I mean, do they? I'm sure they, uh, some do, but I think most people, that's the reason why Chuck Liddell was one of the biggest stars. The guy knew how to wrestle, but he knew the crowd loved seeing people get knocked out. I think it probably is easier to have a crowd-pleasing style as a striker. Mm -hmm. Not that you can't have one as a grappler, but just easier to understand you need to you don't need to know the game as well to understand oh well that guy just got dropped to the punch so right. i think he's losing that was wild <laughs> spin hook kick to the thigh i love it and it really doesn't seem like small is intimidated really you know he's taken some damage he's eaten some big strikes but he's still trying to move forward and in an inflict as much damage as he possibly can. He's There's your shot to the body. There we go, yeah. He's defending his head quite well. Like, he has eaten some big shots, but he's also shelling up and, and uh, yeah. He's defending his head fairly well. Small again trying to go to the calf as the round comes to a close. I think Small was feeling the rhythm a little bit more in that second round. I have to agree. And is that because he managed to get the fight to the ground and that's a boost of confidence? And say, I'm still in this fight. You know what I mean? I'm not, it's, it's not all Atme. I have found my ways as we look back at some of the mixed martial arts action from round two. Nice push kick from Small. That was a nice kind of hip toss there from, from Small. He did a great job of solidifying the takedown. On the feet, it was primarily controlled by Atme, but that was a good round. I feel like both rounds have been com quite competitive. I'd have to give the edge in both rounds to Atme, but you could make a case for uh, for Small, especially in that second, I think, after the takedown. And when we look back at the, the judging in our second fight, yeah, as long as it's competitive, <laughs> we don't you know just don't getting. know. Oh, yeah, no. I mean, that round really could have gone either way. It was a... Uh, a lot of those shots that Atme was throwing were getting blocked as well. So these are the little things that can go I, into And I understand that, but they still hurt. You oh, throw yeah, a round yeah, kick, yeah. somebody blocks, you're getting hit in the wrist, that hurts. Yeah, taking kicks off forearms, people think yeah. it's a block. It, this isn't like a, this isn't a video game where it's like, oh, you blocked it. So it, oh, oh, that was nice. a beautiful kick. Spinning heel <laughs> kick, sick, man. right to that the face. Sweet. That's how you start a round right there, buddy, out of way. And Small not intimidated. Trying to move forward. He's got to dig deep. Maybe he doesn't, but maybe his corner is telling him, look, you, you have to win here. His corner's saying all in, all yep. in. Yep. I think yep. they are basically, the message to him would be, we think you need to finish here. We can't be confident going into this third round. I like that advice from him regardless of where you are. I, I, there's something to be said for trying to pump your, your fighter up, but nothing infuriates me more than seeing between rounds a corner tell their fighter they won a round when either it's clear they lost or it's a coin toss that could go either way. It's like, this is not the time to... to BS your, your guy. Yeah, to not pump up the confidence. Like, this is going to change how the guy fights. Like, I've been very clear with my coaches. Like, if it's remotely close, tell me we don't know who won. I don't, I don't want 
you thinking, like, oh, I need to pump Mike's confidence up. No, tell me I need to go get a finish. Tell me I need to win this next round. Well, every fighter is different as well. Some probably like to get the positive feedback, even if they lost a round, maybe that'll give them some momentum going to the next round. It's, you know, yeah. I imagine it's case by case. Yeah. But I have to agree with you. I mean, yeah. to, to be sure that you won a round, you got to really be sure that you won the round. Yeah. A lot of action here. Small now trying to find his way in and not make. The first man to attack in that exchange. Left round kick, targeted for the head of Small. Admet throws from a lot of interesting angles. I think that's something that he's had some success with in this fight. Yeah, he's doing a good job of standing on his bicycle, moving his feet the whole time. He's never given a stationary target. When he circles a little too much in this direction, that's where Nate's landing either the left kick or that spin kick. But uh, he hasn't really been punished for circling to the right quite yet. There, yeah, and then he plants his feet, fires, and then he's back on his movement, right? Faint, faint, good movement, little angles. They look really subtle angles that he's taking, right? He's just stepping outside of uh, Nate's, like, foot line, right? Just stepping out of line. Oh, that was a nice damaging low kick by Small. Yeah. And Atme comes right back. He hit him with that GSP style, like, suit lead yeah. Superman to low kick. Love that. There he goes for that hook kick again. Atme's got to be careful of that and respect it because that's it's a baseball bat to your head. Especially if you're circling into it. Yeah. And if you're like relaxed, thinking you're out of range, right? That's where it's that's where it's dangerous. Good feint. He hits the dip, little level change, and then back on his bike again. He's 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 got great footwork here, and Nate's doing a good job of, of not giving him too much space. But I'm this good. is a very interesting round. This is a very interesting round. This whole fight's been yes. nice to watch, man. This is really high level, especially like we said for guys that don't, are early in their career and don't necessarily have the best records, right? Like it's cool to see that MMA has come this far. Atme is very careful about playing the foot game. It seems like he really only wants to strike when he has that foot positioning that's advantageous to his angles. I love it, man. Why, why enter on 50-50s? That's, 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 that's a brawl, man. You don't need to do that. He's doing a great job of staying disciplined. He's not being drawn into a brawl. He's moving his feet, like he said, only engaging when he has the advantage. Love it. But in the judges' eyes, what are they seeing here? Yes, he's being technical. He's scoring from a distance, but... Are the judges seeing this round for him? Well, they've got to assess the impact from Cage's side and, yeah. and look at the effectiveness of each strike. Like I, I, technique doesn't score. <laughs> it's what you do with that technique that scores. Right. Small continuing. Yeah, that's what I've been looking to see out of Small this whole fight is, all right, if he's going to circle to the right the whole time, then launch. Oh, oh. beautiful <laughs> spinning elbow. That was slick. Awesome stuff. But Atme's found a home for that corkscrew right hand over the top again and again tonight. Like, that's been his go-to shot. And there oh. it is again, right? Just over top of, of Small's jab. He's doing a great job of landing that all night. There again, again. Small allowing Atme to be the bully in that last exchange. Yeah, and it seems like when Small finally gets the pattern recognition of the circling and actually hits Atme, Atme switches it up and, yes. and starts yeah. to land in volume. And I think that's a really brilliant strategy. Yeah. Final 10 nice seconds. Excellent oh, decision by beautiful Small. Job. In a close round, too, right? Yes. Like being on top, getting a takedown shouldn't be the be-all, end-all. But, hey, man, that's a close fight. Close rounds. Like, if a judge is kind of only partially paying attention, you don't really know what happened, and this guy yep. ended up on top, it might be like, all right, well, I didn't know how to score it, but that guy ended up on top. That's enough. Well, the judges don't partially pay attention. They're not paid to partially pay attention. So they're, they're looking at each and every individual strike, and they've got to use that information to assess who's winning the round. And I think in a fight like that, where there's just so much volume to consider, you have to really be diligent in terms of your mental scoring when you're the judge. Yeah, because the numbers. There was a lot of strikes, like stuff like this, the combinations, the aggressive nature of both guys. You're just trying to figure, okay, what strikes were the most damaging? Who is in control of this round? And then at the, it's like, this was a very, very competitive third round, but at the end of the round, Small managed to get that takedown. Is that the difference maker? I don't think so. Yeah, okay. Because what do you, what's he doing with the takedown? What's no, the big well, takedown? Well, there wasn't enough time. Yeah, so yeah. he just got the takedown at the end of the round to say, hey, look it. That, a takedown like that shouldn't really score yeah. when it comes down to the actual scoring yep. criteria. It was a very close fight 
if I had to score it, I'd give it 30-27 at May, even though all three rounds were very close to me. You could you could make an argument for really any round going in either direction. I just thought there was a slight edge throughout the fight to at May, but that was a great competitive fight. Yeah, I'd say one and three were very competitive, but more clear for Atme. And the second round, I think, was more of a toss-up. But we'll yeah. see how the judges have it scored yeah. momentarily. This is one where you can't really be mad, regardless of, of the call. I mean, you can be. Uh, you just shouldn't. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I guess so. Both fighters smiling. Happy that they got to share the cage with a worthy adversary, because re the reality is they are both going to leave this cage better fighters after experiencing what they just experienced. Yeah, for sure. And this must be a nerve-wracking situation waiting for the official decision, yeah. the unknown. Because we've seen it time and time again where fighters, I'm sure, are completely confident that they are going to get the W. And next thing you know, it's a split decision win for the other guy. Well, yeah. the unknown is about to become the known. Yeah. And with that said, we'll send it up to Don Andrews. Fight fans, after three rounds, we go to the judges' scorecard for a decision. Judge Patrick Gula scores the fight 30-27 small. Judge Kyle Costello scores the fight 30-27 Atme. And Judge Jason Chirico scores the fight 29-28 for your winner by split decision. In the blue corner, Isidine Atme.